Hey Leo, it is very early morning. I have a big day here, so wanted to get your reading up. This is just whatever comes out now that the energy is sort of switched. It's not, it hasn't made the giant leap yet, guys, but it's it's on its way. Like it's it's kind of there. Like I um didn't expect it so soon, but I'm already seeing the changes. So it's good. Let's get you three oracle cards for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Leo. Leo, I'm seeing a vampire for some reason. No idea why. Maybe it could be like just an emotional vampire. Spiritual gifts. Running. And thug. I, I really want to take thug out of this thing. Like, it... it uh, on the bottom is um, deception, backstabbing. I feel like you should know that. Um, I, don't, I don't like Thug being in there. I don't like Thug. I don't know why. It just bothers me so bad. For Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What do you want Leo to know? I don't channel anybody specific. You guys know that when I'm, when I'm reading for you guys. But... Um, I, I couldn't even if I wanted to. Like, I have so many Leos I know, and you're all going through such, like, like significantly different things that I wouldn't even be able to channel you if I wanted. Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Leo, you're making a comeback. You're making a comeback. Things got really shitty. Okay, like, financially, emotionally, you are you are now in the upright. Okay, things are going to start to turn around. You're going to start to see yourself um, as yourself again. This has started. This has started with the moon here. Finding some sort of stability again. Some of you guys may be moving or taking a trip. That's going to help you. I see somebody finding an antique that's worth some money or else you already have it and you don't know that it's worth some money, okay? Um, <clears throat> you may have a moment of despair when you find something out that you've kind of been lying to yourself about or someone's been lying to you about. I see you, the number nine is relevant. I see you getting out of your funk over that as well. You knew, you knew here, you knew. Like, the high priestess is here. This is something you just blinded yourself to. You just didn't really want to face the facts. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces. Leo, sun, moon, and rising. Yeah. Somebody was rejected, and it was very painful. Could have happened around the winter time. I just, again, you have a trip or a move coming up as well. And I think that's going to really get you out of your funk. I think it's going to make like pretty significant changes to your life. Leo, sun, moon, and rising. You have your, again, your own card in the upright and some sort of healing going on, the seeker. You might be going on some sort of spiritual quest. You might be... You know, whatever it is you're seeking, it's coming your way. And if you're looking for an apology or you're looking for somebody to have kind words or words that are going to affect you and, you know, lasting, um, you know, like when sometimes when you hear something and it just like snaps, like you go, oh my God, I, I needed to see this. I needed to read this. I need to hear this. That's going to happen for you soon too. It's also going to help you with some sort of restart. The number two is also relevant to you. Um... If you had some sort of falling out with an air sign, I don't see them reaching out, okay? You may be jumping into something a little recklessly. What is this for Leo? Could be a relationship. Please be careful of that. Especially if you're not trying to have babies. We have the eclipse here too. The eclipse is going to bring some sort of financial change for you. Now the eclipse is gone and over with, but the energy stays for like the next six months, okay? Something will be illuminated as well. What is this for Leo? What is this? What's going to be illuminated? Hmm. Somebody that withheld some sort of emotional response to you, or, you know, maybe you were 
expecting expecting them to be a bit more um uh vulnerable uh i don't think that i think they were hiding it okay i think that that's going to come back around it's going to be like oh heavy on the water sign um you guys might get into a bit of an argument over it but nothing major yeah you're both in the reverse in this situation because i think you're both thinking of each other you're both still trying to figure out what to say to each other but the fact that they held back um when they could have when they could have been more honest um emotionally honest with you i think has caused you some turmoil letting go of a toxic person heavy drinker unless you're the heavy drinker and i see you letting go of that okay you do have somebody new in your energy you do you do have a new person here leo sun moon and rising my advice leo is take it slow we are in retrograde doesn't even belong here but i'm going to take it anyway most of you are single right now and enjoying your life single why is the three of cups in the reverse why is the three of cups in the reverse okay there was something that you were looking forward to celebrating and you may have been celebrating with like a group of people or one person um, that isn't going to happen, but that was, that is like divine, uh, guidance or divine intervention. Sorry. Um, <coughs> because something, <coughs> sorry. Um, because something wasn't, wasn't actually right about the situation. So even if you feel like you missed out on opportunity, you didn't continue. For Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Reconciliation here is here. Wouldn't be till about the summertime. What is this reconciliation for Leo? Leo, if you want it, it's there. It's available. I'm seeing heavy on the air sign. Something is not... You're not allowing something to happen here. What is that, Leo? What are you not allowing to happen? Giving somebody else a chance. Holding on to like the past and not giving somebody else a chance that may be better suited for you. Leo, sun, moon, and rising. What else do you want Leo to know? What other messages do we have? <clears throat> Jeez. Karmic destiny, especially when it comes to a new romance. I'm telling you, somebody new. Out with the old, guys. Out with the old. We don't need to, like, relive <laughs> trauma, <laughs> you know? It's, it's, it, it won't, it doesn't work out. There's no growth and opportunity um, with the old situation, honestly. And you have options coming in. Especially when it comes to your career. You have options coming in. Okay, what else do you want Leo to know? What other messages do we have for Leo? Moving on, accepting somebody. Okay, Leo, all right, cool. So maybe you guys heard me. <laughs> There's somebody new coming into your life. I think they're going to be uh, much, much better for you than this past person, even if you're holding on to this past person's energy. Um, you know, you can, you can let go of it. Easier said than done, trust me. Yeah, moving on from a past person, finding some sort of stability once again. Justice is in the reverse, though. Why is justice in the reverse for Leo? Ooh, okay, anybody involved in any sort of lawsuit, just know that you're going to lose a lot of money in the lawsuit, but you'll end up winning uh, it but like it's going to cost you a lot of money if you are not involved in any sort of lawsuit um and this is a karmic justice sort of thing um if, especially if somebody owes you money something like that you'll see it but it's going to take a lot before you do and if this is just a regular 
freaking karmic justice, you probably aren't going to see it. You're not going it, to, it's going to happen, but you're not going to actually see it. Okay, you're going to, you're going to come out the winner, but you may not actually be aware that you are, you know. And three more cards, we're going to end it here for Leo. Three more cards. Letting, laying something to rest. No wanting, no more arguing over it. And for some of you, be careful with a move or a house, guys. If you are looking to move or buy a new house, please be careful. It's going to cost you a lot more than you think, okay? It's not going to be quite as simple. Like, maybe the house has something wrong with it. You're going to have to invest. Um, something of that nature. Please, yeah, please be mindful. Maybe take a little longer to make a decision. Okay, I hope this helps.